hi hello and welcome everybody to today's video this time i decided to bring something a bit more personal to the table today we are redesigning some of my old ocs recently i've been looking at my old art and abandoned ocs and i kept feeling like i really want to see what i could make them look like with all the new knowledge i have about character design i more or less specialize in character design these days but back in the day it was actually my biggest hurdle to get over when making a new character the particular OC who inspired this video is this guy, Yu, originally from Misaki and Yu, a short comic series of mine on Webtoon. I felt like drawing him again at some point, so I drew this little sketch, but then I decided I also wanted to try redesigning him the way I always was trying to make him look in the first place. And this is how that turned out. He went from this sort of pastel goth-ish style to Menhera, which truthfully is what he was supposed to be anyway, I just didn't know the name of it back in the day. So why don't we start the redesigns with his counterpart from the series, Misaki. These two were basically best friends who hung out a lot and they just happened to have unique styles because at the time that was what I was interested in. They are best friends, but they very much had this will they, won't they thing going on. These two definitely liked each other but would never say it out loud. Even with their new versions, I honestly cannot imagine them ever confessing properly. <laughs> They're the type of people who become roommates, sleep together, have matching toothbrushes and pajamas, you know, do the groceries together, but you will never hear them say I love you. <laughs> he was the more eccentric, more whimsy one of the two. He fell first, and Misaki was the more kind of dark and brooding, but fell harder. He was originally kind of cute whenever it came to you. But with his new version, I think he'd look a bit scary if I put blush on him. <laughs> kind of an obsessive look, even though his feelings are very wholesome, you know? Since they are originally colorful versus dark counterparts, design-wise, and they are a duo, I decided to keep that out. New Yu is very pink and light. Meanwhile, Misaki is now dark with yellow accents. Originally, he had a bit too much going on, I think, but this version turned out way more cohesive. Also, his original aesthetic wasn't easy to pinpoint either, so I tried to make it more obvious this time. It's kind of like a, a grungy kind of look, I think. Personally, I really like how he turned out. I think he and you go really well together visually too, so I'm happy. The next character on the agenda is Masaru. He is basically the embodiment of luck, quite literally. He was part of this comic concept I had that did not come to fruition. He's a part of a trio with a witch girl called Kokoro and the embodiment of bad luck, Kuro. I know, very creative names. <laughs> Masaru's name basically means to win, Kokoro means heart and Kuro means black. This comic's concept would have basically been a slice of life about this witch trying to navigate being the queen bee at school and learning how to be a proper witch with the help of luck and misfortune nagging her all the time. There was like an idea of a points management system and it was kind of interesting, but ultimately not interesting enough for me to actually commit to making it into a real comic. I would love to redesign Kuro in a future video if you guys would be interested in part 2 of this. Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, I don't want to redesign Kokoro because I think she already looks perfect, so you know, I like her the way she is. Now back to Masaru, however. He actually did have a redesign once. But honestly, not much changed. He is just this cutie patootie, but not really, because as we know, luck is quite fickle. So he can actually be really mean and kind of leave all of a sudden sometimes. How it was kind of supposed to work is like Kokoro would collect luck points by allowing unfortunate things to happen, and the magnitude of the misfortune would determine the amount of points she gains. But it was always random. She would do this before like big exams. So she can use the points to forcefully push Kuro into sleep mode and then only Masaru is able to work his magic and then she can ace her exams. So it was always a bit of a gamble basically. But eventually Masaru would run out of energy so he also goes into sleep mode after a while. They were a bit silly. For some reason Masaru has this big scarf in his design, both of them. So I felt like I had to keep it. But I made it a, a much bigger like silhouette piece this time so I like it more. I put a big bow on it too, so it's cuter. The style he's wearing overall, I mean, I guess it's like 
Y2K, but also somewhat futuristic, so it's a bit confusing. But it's cute enough to redirect your attention from that, I guess. <laughs> he is fully rocking yellow, because I made their trio yellow, blue, and red by accident, but it was a good choice, because they are primary colors. This sort of color triad is often seen in trios, for example, Sonic the Hedgehog, Tails, and Knuckles have this going for them too. Makes it easy to distinguish the main cast from the rest of the characters. He also has overall light colors, because that's what I think of when I think luck. Anyway, he's a cutie patootie, I like how he turned out and I hope you do too. The last character for today is April, another abandoned comic concept of mine. The latest name for it ended up being like, Liar's Race, but I don't really like that. <laughs> Honestly, this comic was heavily inspired by Dangarompa, and then as time went on, it became sort of a Dangarompa and Kakaguri hybrid. Very peculiar combination. It even went through a cyberpunk era, but that didn't last long. I had a few good ideas for this comic, but as you can guess, I never made them come to fruition. <laughs> the overall idea was that every contestant is skilled in some kind of gambling, and they had to win these games for their lives. Dangarompa style, only a few would remain at the end, and of course there was a masked villain whose identity was not known until the end. April was my love, she was actually supposed to be the female lead to the actual main character, Alex. And I would also love to redesign Alex in a future video, so again if you guys would like to see that let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, Alex is like, water flavored, like there's nothing interesting about this man. April is actually skilled in many gambling games, but Alex is very unlucky, so he's also like a boy failure. Maybe I should redesign him as a boy failure, that would work way better. This reminds me, I actually started learning the sort of card games and other games casinos usually have just for this comic. I became really good at poker because of this, so there's that. Anyway, April was a boss bitch and I loved her. <laughs> she went through so many redesigns, it was clear that she was my favorite. She still is, that's my wife. Anyway, today she received a new redesign and I went for a kind of preppy look. I think she kind of ate it, not gonna lie, she ate that. I think it looks good on her. It's when her redesigns were kind of progressing towards anyway. But like I said, back in the day I really struggled with character designs, so I either made characters really, really bland or over detailed but with no particular style in mind, which didn't really help. But your honor, she's my baby girl, I love her so much. But her story is so Dangarompa coded, I will never actually make it. <laughs> it's like, kind of sad. Maybe I'll use her in some other work of mine. We'll find out. Anyway, yes. I hope you guys like her too. And this is all three characters we redesigned today. I didn't realize it, but it turns out they all have a very cohesive color scheme together. They all kind of have muted warm colors on them. They look nice together, even though they're very different. If you guys enjoyed seeing this type of character design video, let me know in the comments below. I would love to redesign more of my old OCs, and trust me, there's no shortage of OCs when it comes to me. There's more where this came from. If you want to see art from me that doesn't make it into videos, you can check out my Instagram and Twitter at eris underscore vt. And if you'd like to read my web comics, you can also find me on Webtoon by searching eris.png. But all the links will be in the description down below. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time, but until then, bye bye!